us today. Uh, we are Carnot Computing and we are really glad to uh, take part in this uh, World Blender Meetup Day. So, my name is Ellen. My name is Clement. Hi. And uh, we're going to tell you more about how to heat with your Blender renderings. So, as I'm sure you have all noticed, uh, rendering produces a lot of heat and this heat is wasted. Uh, so, why not use it for homes and offices? Uh, and that's what we do uh, with Garno. We're located in the south of Paris and uh, we've been created in 2010 and we have now 23 people in the team. So we have developed the Curad digital heater. So it looks like a heater, but it's actually a supercomputer as you can see it. Uh, it's the first computing heater uh, embedding microprocessors as a heat source and connected to uh, high-speed internet. So it's totally silent and it gets its computing instructions um, thanks to the internet and the heat produced by workload processing uh, provides free and efficient heating for uh, homes and hof in offices. So the idea is with the QRAD you do not longer have this concentrated computing power but it's distributed throughout the city uh, inside heaters. Uh, so we have uh, deployed 350 units in Paris and they've been heating um, about 100 people for two years now. So you might wonder uh, what's inside. Uh, so basically uh, three big computers as you can see it. So that if you want to tell more about what's inside. Yeah, so inside uh, you can find three or four depending on the version of the QRAD. So you can find the la latest uh, i7 Intel CPU with uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM. There is no storage on the, uh, in the heater, so there is no se se security flow for this and everything is encrypted from both sides of the, of, the, of the pipeline. And thanks to this, uh, this uh, strange but very, uh, very cool system, we have been producing uh, very cool projects such as uh, Cosmos Landromat, the, the last film from the Blender Foundation, um, and also a Norwegian little hero for children, uh, Dunder Film, and also many other cool projects like uh, Jonas, which has received the Susan Award uh, two years ago, for example. Um, so you all witness uh, with with uh, your blender um, activity uh, what we like have called the so-called Shrek law, which is that um, the the global um, need for computing power are always increasing, and 3D is a really great example. Um, every year, uh, the images are um, are more beautiful, and it has, of course, a very high impact on on the rendering um, on the rendering time, and um, this is a kind of parallel with the, the the Moore's law. The the number of hours of rendering doubles, and and even beyond at every film. So at a smaller scale, um, computing power is also um, is also an issue for for smaller studios and individuals that need uh, more efficient, uh, cheap, and uh, sustainable rendering power. So, Carno is an alternative to this type of um, to this type of um, of digital factory, the data centers. Uh, we we are like the organic uh, version of this uh, intensive farming of uh, computing power. Uh, so just a few numbers um, to show that this is really um, beyond 3D animation when it comes to rendering to um, computing power in general. It's 3% of the world's electricity data center and it doubles every five years. So we really believe that globally alternatives are needed. So this our um, our model. Yes, yeah, so you can see we, we are on a distributed and secure and scalable model. 
so we can put a lot of power everywhere in the city if we need more power we don't need to to build a new data center we can add more couriers in existing houses so it's uh, better for the cost and it's easier to to scale a lot and to adapt our, our farm size for the computing needs of for clients and uh, this allows us to be very competitive when it comes to costs. So this is a, like a, a benchmark to, to give you an idea. And this, uh, this also has a tremendous impact on the carbon footprint overall for both uh, the heating and the computing power used. So uh, this is really uh, the more sustainable way to, to do your computations. And our business model is as follows. So on the one hand, we have the, um, our HPC clients, so 3D animation studios, research labs, banks, uh, and they, um, they buy the computing power provided by our platform. And on the other hand, the heating clients that have the, um, that have the heaters inside, inside their homes. So the people paying for the machines are the, um, uh, the lessors, uh, the builders, the local authorities that buy the machines. And then for the people who have it in their, in their homes, it's free because we reimburse for the, for the um, electricity consumed by every heater thanks to a counter inside. So now we're gonna tell you more about our platform. Yeah, so on our platform, we can run what we call the payload. So it's a kind of task to do on one computer. So we can do Blender rendering. So we can do computation for, for biotechs, for finance, and for research. So we have our platform, the QR, that handle the different tasks and dispatch them on our QR. So let's talk about Blender. So uh, maybe you know our website, but if not, you should. So it's our website. You can go, you can upload your blend files, and then you just have to press render, and we dispatch your rendering on our CPUs. So you can use a lot of CPUs, and you can reduce your human render times. So for example, this task is running on more than 100 CPUs, so it's our website, but if you have specific needs, we also have a Python SDK and a REST API. So with these uh, lines of Python, you can start the rendering on our farm and get your frames back. So uh, because the eating is not uh, always the same, we have a model where we have more heaters than uh, eating than computation need. So, for example, during the winter, we can give free render times to people, to students, or for example, to the Blender Foundation. So that's what we did for the last uh, Blender Foundation movie. We give them we gave them a lot of CPU times. And we developed with them uh, RESTful API. I don't know it's, uh, if you know this, but it's Flamenco. It's made by the Blender Foundation. And we worked with them on this to have a specific Carno manager. So they can start tasks from their platform on our platform and get the result back. So it's a view of their platform. So there is a lot of shots and they can follow the rendering on the shot, decide to start the rendering on our platform, on their server, and it's totally open source. So you can use it, you can install it, and you can connect with us and start rendering on our platform with this kind of software. And also there is a Blender plugin you can install so you can use the plugin, uh, which is with Flamenco. So you can start a new Flamenco job straight from your Blender interface. Or you can grab our own Blender plugin and do a new rendering on our platform just by clicking one or two buttons in your Blender interface. So 
you should go to our website and try our new our platform. You can go to blender.carno.com. You will get 25 free CPU hours, so you can do your tests and buy more credits if you if you need and if you want. So we are not live, but we thought that you might have a few questions. So we try to um, imagine what they would be based on what we are asked usually. So um, let's uh, let's go for a, a Q and A time. So what happens in the summer? So in the summer, we can uh, reduce the frequency of the CPU. And we can also decide to boot only one CPU over the four CPU of the QRAD. So it will not produce more heat than a classic computer. We can also use the fact that we have some RADs in schools. And if there is nobody in the summer, we can eat there. And it's not a problem. We are also a, an hybrid cloud provider. So if we need more power, we can send the job to a data center. And for the people using our platform, it's 100% transparent. So you, you send us the job, and we dispatch it all we want. So in a real world, or maybe in a data center if needed. So it the way we under the summer heat, and in the winter we we if we have more need of CP or of heat and we have no, not enough job, we are giving the CPU time to researcher and to students or people like the Blender Foundation. So maybe you ask uh, if you can get a QRAD? So for the moment, we install QRADs uh, in buildings for more than 20, uh, 20 QRADs, more than 20 units. Uh, we do not install yet with individuals, uh, but we will, uh, we will soon do it, so stay tuned. And uh, we're, of course, if you um, know a project that would fit the, these requirements, so for more than, uh, than 20 heaters, you can feel free to contact us. Um, you might wonder, because we talked about um, the winter, we talked about free computations, so you might wonder if you can have free computations. So yes, you can. So basically, you can, by subscribing on our website, you can create an account and you will automatically get 25 free hours. You can also get some free hours if you are an institution or a student. And if you want to use our platform for your pipeline, you can contact us and we can do a proof of concept and give you free hours to do, to do this and to adapt our platform to, to your needs. So feel free to, to contact us to, to do this. Uh, Clément, I'm sure we have questions about security. Yes, people are always asking about security. We are using encryption from, your, from our platform to the world. So we are running computation for banks. And as you can guess, banks are really Sure, about security. So if banks can trust us, you can trust us to, to do your renderings. So maybe you are asking if it's possible to have free eating. Uh, yeah, so um, what we do is we reimburse uh, the people that have curads in their homes of the electricity that is consumed by every curad. Uh, so it's uh, it's um, automatically done. So why why do we do that? We do that because for us heat is a byproduct. Heat is is a waste. Um, so um, we use basically the people's electricity to run our own machines. Uh, so that's only uh, fair to us to reimburse them of that uh, electricity consumed and to have them enjoy the heat that is a byproduct of these computations. So that's our philosophy. Yeah. 
And maybe you are a studio and you have your own pipelines and you are wondering how you can do things with us. So if you have your own pipeline, you can integrate our platform. We have a Python SDK and we have a RESTful API. So it's 100% possible to, to integrate our platform in your pipeline. You just have to contact us and we can work together to, to do so. Okay, so of course, if you have more questions, feel free to, to write to us and uh, we'll be glad to answer them. So in case you haven't seen it yet, um, uh, here is uh, the video of um, Cosmos Laundromat that we have rendered on our platform. So I strongly encourage you to, uh, to watch it. It's a very, very beautiful movie and uh, I hope you're going to like it. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Oh, come on. You have a moment, sir. I'm kind of in the middle of something here. Yes, thank you. I've come a long way for you, Frank. My name is Victor. Hi. And you are... You are Frank. Oh, you are so much more than just a sheep, aren't you? Oh, yeah. How would you know? Look at you. You're an adventurer, Frank. Just like me. You're a lone wolf. Tell me, does one choose? To be alone? No, one doesn't. One doesn't even choose to be a wolf. Or does one? Well, Mr. Uh, Hector. Victor, Victor. I don't know what you're on about, but, but, but I'm just a sheep minding its own business. And I suggest you do the same. No, 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 Frank, wait, wait, wait. No, this is not the way. Just give me one minute of your precious time. Precious time? <laughs> yeah, just give me one minute. You would have one more minute, wouldn't you? Okay, half. Half a minute. I knew it. I knew it. 
Ah, you will not regret this. The adventures you will have. All the lives you ever wanted. All you've been missing. Here, this is the best product we have in store. Uh. Variable spin speed, excellent tumble performance in one handy device. Squeaky clean. Well, this, uh, this better be good. Uh, it took me ages to tie that rope with my fucking hoofs. No more need for hoofs. No more sheepy business. Oh. Time flies. Wait, 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 wait. How does this thing work? I mean, how do I make it work? No, you don't. I just turned it on for you. When can I go? Where can I go? We will pick you up. Don't worry. Just stay here, in this exact place. Don't move. Just wait. That's it? Hey! Hey! Wait, mister! Uh, Casper! Well, Hector, whatever! Huh? 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 